praise the lord my dear friends it gives me great joy to visit all of you and greet all of you a merry christmas my dear friends as you are preparing for the christmas here comes your brother to walk with you to share god's word to enrich your celebration in today's first reading we hear from the book of isaiah chapter 9 verse 2 to says people who walked in darkness have seen the great light we to walk in the darkness very step of darkness sickness pain financial problem misunderstandings in home and struggles in our working place whatever may be if we move towards god look unto him his light will shine upon you and he will not put you to shame psalm 34 verse 5 yes people who walked in darkness they have seen the light and what will that light see that light will number 1 word of god says isaiah 93 it will bring god's joy into our hearts into our lives chapter 9 verse 4 when great light brings joy the darkness the fear the depressing spirit everything will run away from us god is coming our savior is coming to renew our lives praise the lord the same to st paul says in a different way he says in titus chapter 2 verse 11 which is today's second reading he says grace of god means to that which we don't deserve god wants to give it to us because he loves us the grace of god bringing salvation has appeared yes and with this grace if we want to celebrate verse 12 says titus 2 12 it teaches to reject ungodly we have to reject ungodly worldly to live godly lives with the purpose that reflects spiritual maturity we have to re- remove all the disnot of god and move into god it's an invitation god gives to us in the gospel we read luke's gospel chapter 214 glory to god in the highest and peace to whom all men and women of good will what does this mean there are five things the readings of today explain to us number 1 unless we enter into the divine relationship our earthly struggles never get over they don't move from us the divine heavenly presence has to walk with us to make our earthly life meaningful and life giving we read in matthew chapter 1 verse 24 joseph was disturbed perplexed but he woke from the sleep and believed and did as the angel said in his life also darkness came but he awoke to the truth and he believed in the word and he obeyed the word so we need to hear the word we need to understand the word we need to believe and obey the word and we need to reject all that is not of god's voice and then we will hear the voice of god joseph arose amidst all the disturbance i want to leave mary i don't want to belong to this family of mary because she has cheated me she is with a child i don't understand why these things are i will go away or i will divorce her all these thoughts are troubling her troubling him but he moved from that he rose from darkness to believe god's word the dream the angel gave to him and he did as the angel said and he had a wonderful christmas 
same thing will happen to us too the enemy will come disturb us but we have to rise up to have relationship with the divine by believing and trusting him and then christmas will be wonderful for us number 2 we need to be alert to the truth the worldly forces will claim us as though we belong to them they will claim us they will try to break us from god and they will say we belong to them we read in the gospel matthew 119 joseph plan to send her away mary and divorce her in secret children we read mary though said yes to the lord joseph was disturbed by the enemy but when the worldly forces came in the life of joseph he stood up same thing happened to mother mary also Luke chapter 1 verse 29 says she was greatly perplexed Luke 130 she was frightened Luke 134 she questioned the angel how this can be this are part of life of Mary but she never allowed the evil forces to rule her because christmas is not feelings it's a relationship it's a decision it is a decision to belong to god let anything happen mary rose up to god and she found jesus in her own womb and she celebrated christmas today the same forces will try to rule you tell you your relationship belongs to the world your habits belong to the world your way of thinking life is mine and you are mine you got to say sorry my one life if i live i live for god and all that is not of god i will throw it away i don't belong to you o oh, evil forces i belong to the living god you got to make a decision and proclaim it yes the third truth we realize is to what we fix our minds will make us proverbs 1 proverbs chapter 3 we read that above all be in touch with your heart the life flows from there 423 yes god is calling us be in touch with your mind look chapter 2 verse 9 says shepherds were terrified frightened when the angels came but verse 9 15 we read they said let's go straight and meet the king we have to fix our minds on the lord that's why isaiah 26:3 says god will keep in perfect peace whose mind is fixed on the lord today if you want christmas to be alive in your life you have to check your mind and fix your minds on the lord and what the lord wants you to and then you will have his peace and joy yes fourth we have to proclaim that the lord is jesus and jesus is our lord and the enemy will come he will try to separate us he will bring fear worries to tie us up when herod heard the truth that jesus is born he was frightened he was worried whether he may lose his kingdom he was tied up with the worldly principles worldly desires worldly programs and worldly glory and he could not go to meet the lord nor the people in jerusalem we read in matthew chapter 2 verse 5 the bible scholars they came and explained to the wise men that jesus will be born in bethlehem but they did not go to meet the lord knowing the bible is not sufficient living the bible moving for god committing our lives for god 
taking risk to live for God will take us to Bethlehem. I wish all of you a wonderful Christmas. I and the Society of the Holy Spirit wish you a Merry Christmas. God bless you all. Thank you.